And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass break. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Men quickly shut women down. When women assert themselves and say, I know what I'm talking about because... Men will quickly, if, if they like you, if they got feelings for you, uh, if they feel threatened, they will quickly shut that down with, well, you're just a woman. Or, you know, uh, it, it, it comes across like you're just a woman. But for instance, like with my ex-husband, I'm telling him, like, the dude energy is off, and I want you to go. You my man. I want to show up to the show with my man. I would feel more comfortable with that because I feel like, you know, he's whatever. And he just, you know, starts attacking me like, well, why would he be trying to do that? And da-da-da. I'm like, dude, I don't know. Or why would you accept shows from strangers? Strangers. Strangers. Oh, yeah, that's why I'm telling you to go. It's, it's not I'm like it's not about accepting shows from strangers. This is how it works. This is what the game is. Well, you know, I mean, you don't have to do that, and you don't have to go through that. This is how it goes. Well, why ain't you made it yet? You know, it, it comes because well, if you know so much about the game, you really seem to talk like you know so much about the game. Why are you where you at? Mm. Like what? Mm. What? Like how does that have to do? That's like what so I'm good. telling you, I'm telling you, I know what this means. I am speaking up. I am saying, I know what this feels like. I need you to ride with me. I need you to trust me. Me. And so then it turns into like this. Do you have issues with women? Like have women lied to you so much in the past that you don't trust women? Like it's, 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 it's really it your issue. It went way here when it was just, can you ride? Yes or no. You feel me? And, and, and what would, what at, at the basis of that question is, I love you. You love me, right? Can you come? Right? It, it, it's that simple. It wasn't. And we, we started having more and more and more and more and more experiences like that. And then, you know, all it takes is somebody to make a slight comment or a remark that don't mean nothing, but they just being an asshole for him to get set off. Like, uh, this one comic was like, I'm just trying to break up around Barry so she can be single again. All the guy comics laugh. On stage or off stage? Off stage. Okay. But they joke, they're comedians, they're joking. Yeah. Everybody laugh. Why everybody laugh? What you been... <laughs> Dude, you're married to the woman that they all want to get with, but they can't. <laughs> get you a backbone and, and celebrate so that shit. Excited, yeah. Like, niggas is joking about Arana so fine. That's basically what they say. Arana so fine. I go out of my way to ruin her marriage. Yeah. You're in it with me. You're my teammate. So all you should go is go. But he couldn't. And it was just like. That was the hugest part. Everything else, all that sweet shit he did, the roses, the flowers, all that stuff is great. But nigga, I need a goddamn warrior. But not if you're going to be fighting every night over... Nonsense. Nonsense. Yeah. Nonsense. Then he would feel the need to go, so-and-so, so-and-so was flirting with me at work today. Oh, okay, that's cool. I just want to let you know I still got it. When did you lose it? So did he want you to get jealous? Right. He was doing that dumb shit. And I'm like, when did you lose it? How did you lose it? I'm like, we ain't been married nothing but like eight months. How you losing already? Uh, and I'm like, I married this. Then, they, then you start thinking about yourself. Like, I married this. Out of all the people I could have picked, this is what this has turned into? That's right. Do I want to stay in this? And it just ta- it really just takes a process of asking yourself. Realize questions. They're not pleasant questions, but they realize questions. Can I see myself doing this for another five years? If I can't see it for five years and this is something that's supposed to be forever, mm-hmm. what the fuck am I doing? People go, oh, if you would have waited a longer time to get married. No, no, I don't even agree with that. Because I was in a relationship with a nigga for eight years and I never went to marriage. 
Yeah. At, at the end of that, all you be thinking is, well, shit, in year four, you start remembering, in year four, this nigga did this, and I, I should have known in. That should have been my sign in. This should have been my sign Like, it's like, it's always going to be something. You just, I mean, and if you think like that and live like that, you'll never get out there and try shit. It's like improv. If you sit there and think about the scene all day and don't jump in there and actually do something, you'll never get in the scene. That's why I call it improv. And seriously, like, <laughs> it's, it's just like, dude, I mean, especially I even took an a acting class recently, so, like, I'm all in this, but it's all relative. Even life is like improv. A lot of things in life is like improv. Like, there's no rehearsals in life. This ain't no dress yeah. rehearsal. This shit is happening right as we sitting here. This right here, this conversation, is life at Rob's house on, what, Monday? We're just trying it out. This is life. Like, right now. I'll mess up today. I'll try to chase it for tomorrow. Exactly. But you got to get in there and jump in there and do something. And do something. And, and just like with improv, when you jump in the scene to do something, you don't have to have it all figured out. It just has to be a strong choice. Yeah. You can't come in there half-assing it or unsure because you're gonna. it's going to come out to the audience like, what? Like, you can't come in there unsure of yourself because then what's the purpose of you jumping in? You should always be trying to heighten the scene and add to the scene, just like life. You should be always moving forward and trying to be better. Like, so if you're jumping in there with some half ass unthought-out shit, it's going to go sideways. Take that L, walk out the scene, let them let them move into something else, jump back in when you got something. Like, that's how... That's crazy. Everything is like improv. And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray.